Oh crap. Hey everybody, thanks for joining White Dog Outdoors. I was sitting in my home office this morning looking at the sun and it was 55 degrees out and I just couldn't stand it any longer. So I packed my stuff up, charged some batteries, finished up my work, headed up to a stream. Wasn't really sure what I was going to find. I kind of thought that maybe this stream would still be ice flows. It's not ice flows anymore. I got a ton of shelf ice, but it's a long shallow water so it's not dangerous. Um, and the water is up. There's definitely, there's not a ton of snow to melt, but the water's up. And it's not up a lot, but it, it's really off color. I wouldn't call it muddy, but it's certainly stained. Um, I would guess, I got maybe a foot, foot and a half of visibility today, but uh, whatever, dude. I, I just had to get out and fish. I took a temperature, this water is 36 degrees. We went from winter to spring real, real, real fast. Uh, we've had 60s and really close to 70 this week. And so I just couldn't take it anymore. It's gonna be colder this weekend. I wanted to get out, so we are out. Today's conditions, I really consider winter conditions. Water's 36 degrees. It's a little higher than maybe you would find in winter, but the fish are gonna be doing the same things that they do in winter. Um, so the really big keys are, we're gonna look for the slowest water possible with any kind of depth to it. And we're gonna fish the bottom as slow as we can. The water's off color, so we're gonna go with some brighter flies. Um, I'm using a pink squirmy just because I know it works here um, and I need something that the fish are going to see. So anyway, we're going to get fishing. I hope you guys enjoy the adventure. I hope I enjoy the adventure. I will. I'm outside. Who cares? Let's get going. So we do have some shelf ice here, but it looks like it's super shallow underneath the shelf ice. So I should be good here. Wow. Yeah, that's my spot right up there. Where you got that fast water coming in on the far side, but you got that slow water right in front of it. That's my spot. I don't want to break the shelf ice because it's pretty. <laughs> well, we got to cross. Ugh. <clears throat> this is where I wish I had a waiting staff. I didn't really quite expect water this high. So, 36 degree water is not when you want to take a spill. Oh, okay, I want to take a somewhat stealthy approach here. Because I want to find the slowest, deepest water. Slowest, deepest water. It's not that deep there, but everything's moving through here pretty fast. This is super fast. For this hole super fast so i don't know God, oh son of a all right i gotta not mess around and i gotta set the hook So I'm fishing the right areas because I'm getting down, I'm getting bottom, and in this kind of water, this is pretty much all you can ask for is to just get down deep and get on the bottom. And I am not going that fast. So if there happen to be fish out there, I at least have a chance. That's the spot right there, man. Maybe out a little bit further if I can get it deep down in there. If I could get one bite today, that would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're still, I think that's the spot right there. I want to get it down to depth by the time I get there. I want it down to depth and slow, 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 right there. Slow, slow, slow. Oh, geez, I almost got taken out by a piece of ice. Slow, slow. I got it going too fast into there. It didn't sink down.
This will be a little bit better. It's gonna be right on that edge. I'm gonna drop it in right here. Got one. <laughs> oh crap. He's just a little bow, it looks like. Oh, maybe he's not so little. He's a brownie. We actually did connect with our first fish. Thought it was a bow because it was so silvery, but it's actually a nice, a nice brown. I'll show you guys here real quick. Nice healthy fish. I'm so, I'm really happy I was able to connect with a fish. I really didn't think that I'd be connecting with anything today based on the conditions. I gave myself about a 50-50 shot here. So anyway, we did find a fish. So uh, definitely good. This is what you're niffing. You know, you're out in the middle. Uh, this water is 36, 37 degrees today. And, uh, and here we are, we're still able to catch fish. So this is totally awesome. There you go, baby. We'll see ya. There you go. Whew. Okay, so we want to go fly fishing in the winter and we want to figure out where we should be targeting fish. All right, so when it's when the water is cold and I'm in really cold water today, I'm in 36 degree water right now. And so when I'm in 36 degree water, if I'm in any kind of cold water, where are those fish going to be? Okay, so brown trout especially are going to look for that deepest, slowest water possible. Okay, rainbows, you might find them in slightly faster water, but oftentimes you're gonna find them in the slowest, deepest water possible as well, especially in the winter. So you can see as I look out across this run, that whole far side is super fast and everything coming in is super fast, right? So I'm looking for that slowest, deepest water. I'm gonna use my flies to test out how slow I can go. If I set my flies way out there, they're just gonna keep going through, right through and I'm not gonna be able to slow them down. I need to slow them down. I need those flies on the bottom moving as slow as possible. Okay, so I see I got fast water coming in right here and then right there, right there in front of me, it slows down a little bit. It gets less turbulent, it slows down. Okay, right in front of me, you can see that water's moving. I know that that is a deep spot in this hole. So let me get a, gotta get the leaf off my fly here. I'm using really heavy flies. This is a tungsten sexy stone. I got it wrapped with lead and then I've got a squirmy, but I'm using a squirmy today just because this is, uh, this water's really off color. The water's up from snow melt and so it's really off color. So what I want to do, I want, I want you to watch my leader. And right now it's going to be going fast because it's getting down to speed. And then right there, boom, it slows down. That leader is now barely moving. That water's going much faster than my leader. My flies are right on the bottom in that spot. And I just want to help them along the bottom. So you see it's going fast, boom, stopped. Oh, thought that was a fish. And when I caught my fish earlier, it was right in the transition from that fast to slow water. He was sitting underneath, boom, it slowed down right there. Now that water's going much faster than my line. And I'm going along the bottom. I'm just ticking along the bottom now. This is really the key when you are fishing for cold winter trout. And just keep exploring with your flies. Your flies are gonna tell you a lot, but you really have to have heavy flies. If you don't have heavy flies, you're not gonna know. Because even in water like this, if I had flies that weren't heavy, oh boy, I got a tangle here. If I had flies that weren't heavy, they're just gonna keep going right down here. Weight in your flies is gonna be really, really important. It's not always gonna be easy by looking at the surface of the water to determine what's fast and what's slow. A lot of times you're gonna, it'll help you start to read by using those heavy flies and seeing how fast or slow your flies go. That's gonna tell you a lot about what's going on underneath that water. Keep your line off the water so that it doesn't cause any drag. You notice my line is going straight up and down. There's no drag on that line whatsoever. And right now I'm actually even hopping it along the bottom just to help it get through there because it'll get hung up a little bit. 
But that's, that's part of having a feel and knowing what your line is doing. When I get that hit, I'm gonna know because I'm feeling it. Hey, hey, hey. This water is getting muddier and muddier. As the day goes on, it's getting more of a color to it. Wow, that is chocolate milk. This water is so muddy though, I got no chance. I got no chance, this water is just so, so muddy. Oh well. I'm kind of done for the day now because this is uh, just not possible anymore. All right, so as the day has gone on, this water has gotten a little bit higher and it's turned to chocolate milk. So what was, you know, stained this earlier today and maybe heavily stained I could I could see a foot foot and a half probably a foot and a half uh, this morning or not this morning but early afternoon when I was out here and now as the snow melt has happened um, it's gotten to, it's turned to chocolate milk you can't even see I dropped a pink squirmy six inches down it's gone um, so it's actually quite cold down in here I'm surrounded by 36 degree water all the shelf ice and all the snow around me and the wind is whipping I'm not in the sun it's actually quite cold but up on the hills, if you get up on the hills and start walking, it feels so much different. It's so much warmer. So all that snow melt is just coming off into the river and making it all muddy. So I'm going to call it quits for here. But I fished this river in the fall and I never did the video. So I had a pretty good day. I'll put together a little montage of some clips for the, uh, for the outro on this. Thanks again for joining us, everybody. Um, I'm so glad I got out. Even though I only got one fish, it was well, well worth it. But... Thanks for joining us. If you guys like what we're doing, definitely subscribe and uh, enjoy some fish from the fall. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, keep out of there. Oh, this is nice. Oh shoot, get out of my feet. I don't know where you are, but you're, okay, you're up there. Oh, this is not a bow, this is a brown. It's a beautiful brown, holy crap. Beauty brown. Son of a gun. Nice brownie. Yep, that looks pretty stocked not too long ago. Nice healthy fins and everything. Oh, there's a there's a good one. All right, so they're over in the faster water. That's a nice one. I need a little more line out. You look pretty also, bud. You look a little prettier than the last one. Come on. beauty. Thank you, sir. Are you the same fish, dude? God, you look it. Big time look it. God, these are the same two fish I caught earlier. Maybe not. Oh my goodness, that would be so funny.